Hey everybody, Scott here. So I've been looking at the photos I've taken over the last couple of months and realizing that I just don't press the camera shutter as often as I used to. And this kind of came up as a, as, you know, a, a question slash topic from something I put out on In the Field oh, maybe a couple of weeks ago now. I'd gone out very purpose-driven for uh, a photo shoot and took exactly three photos. And you know, one of them I threw away and the other I don't think I even bothered processing. But it got me thinking about um, the... I don't know the um, the progression of a photographer, at least a landscape photographer, or at least myself, where I just don't press the button as often as I used to. And I think some of that is um, not forcing the shot. Some of that might be more particular about compositions and I'm getting better at um, almost like culling in the field. I'm not going to press the button if I know that the photo is not going to turn out good. And um, let me caveat that with, uh, I'm talking about situations where you're not uh, traveling, you're not going somewhere on a holiday or visiting a place that you may never get to go again. Of course, I'm going to press the button on those because I want to take some type of memory away. But for, um, you know, for the, the, the portfolio work or the, the things you're really trying to craft into a beautiful photo, I'm just more selective. And I'm, I'm looking at my, my Lightroom catalog here. And over the last two months, I've gone out at least nine times and I've taken maybe 120 photos. And I'm sure a bunch of those just haven't been called out. And that includes hosting a workshop. So there was four days of you know, just that's all we did, lived and breathed photography. And that also doesn't include things that uh, outings I went on that I didn't take a single photo. I've had uh, several meetups with Spencer to go through photographers and cars and get some recording for that. And I have not taken the camera out of the bag, period. It just... You know, for whatever reason, whether the, the conditions didn't look good that day or you know, the mood I was in, whatever it might have been. Uh, and so I don't have, really have a point to, uh, to this, but I just found it to be an interesting observation. And I'm curious uh, if that has been similar for you as you're you know, moving along your path of photography. Are you finding that you're not taking as many photos or being more purposeful about it. Maybe that's a better way to say it. You're, you're shooting with more intent, pre-visualization, and uh, realizing that if I take this photo, chances are I'm not going to be thrilled with it. I'm just going to cast it away. It's kind of like the, the photo that's out of focus, short of it being a momentous historic event for your lifetime. I'm not going to keep it in my library. I'm going to get rid of it. Are you starting to do some of that when you're out with the camera and realizing, yeah, this photo I'm not going to take. Or uh, for me, like as a landscape person, I'll find a nice composition and I'll work that composition uh, for a bit. I would, I used to just plant and I would sit there and I'd end up with you know, 50 different shots of the same exact scene with minor variations, usually for me, the ocean. I'm doing that less now. I'm realizing when I've captured one that I'm happy with and I like the way and the water swirling around, great. Time to move on and find something else. And uh, so let me know what you uh, are doing. Are you, are you observing the same thing with your photography? Are you uh, not? I, I'm just really curious to know what you think. So leave some comments below, or if you prefer to be private about it, you can shoot me a message through my website. And that's really it. Just thought it was an interesting topic, an interesting observation. Figured I'd share it. I'll see you next time. Happy shooting.